today. The handmade volcano design ant nest and how you can participate in our giveaway to win it for yourself. Right after the intro. Hello and welcome to Ants Vienna everyone! Today is a very special day and that's because we are hosting our first giveaway! That's right! This channel is getting a lot of love and support lately and now it's finally my turn to return some of it to you guys! Before I go into all the stuff that you can win, if you are new to Ants Vienna our intro should have given you a rough idea of what we do on this channel, namely lots of ant keeping. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell with all notifications enabled so you don't miss future giveaway videos like this one. That being said, I will be breaking this video down in three main parts, each covering an important subject. In the first part, we'll be talking about the concept of the volcano nest design. Then, we're going to go into the nest, its features and the accessories that you'll get with it. And finally, I'm going to tell you how you can participate in the giveaway and name some of its terms. Each part will be gem-packed with information, so no fast-forwarding or early skipping today since you risk missing something important, ok? Let's start now! My main idea when creating this nest was for me to be able to watch my ants while sitting on my desktop without needing to lean over or to bend in order to do so. With that in mind, neither a completely flat or a completely vertical nest would be a solution to that. So I decided to get the best of both worlds and create a nest with an approximately 45 degree angle which not only makes watching my little ones a lot easier but gives it a unique and aesthetically pleasing look at least in my opinion. As for the color pattern, I wanted to mimic sliced earth with magma in its core, which ended up very similar to a volcano. So there you go. Given the fact that both larvae and eggs of ants are mostly white and the majority of the adult workers for most species are dark, a vibrant color for improved visibility of all would make sense. This is where the orange came in, staying true to the magma theme. And with such a bright, dominant color in the center, the surroundings should be darker and not drawing too much attention. Since the earth is a darker mix, I covered the remaining front with black and finish the nest off with brown. By the way, you guys often ask me what paint I use. And here's my answer to this. The best and healthiest paint for your ants is non-toxic acrylic paint. You can mix these with water to cover bigger surfaces or with each other to create more colors and make the most out of them. So definitely recommend it on my end. Since it's a lovely day we're now outside and I'll show you what you'll be getting. Let us start with the nest itself, the beauty. Now as stated I've made this from Utong material because of its water conservation and breathing capabilities, which are 
nearly ideal conditions for your ants to live in if you want something that is pre-made. I use acrylic non-toxic paint on this, as said. Here you get to see the colors. Up to its features now. We have an approximate 45 degree viewing angle to make it easy to view the ants when you have the nest standing on your desktop or wherever this might be. I use material wise stainless steel screws and casings which are actually underneath them. I'll blend in a photo so that you can see them. So that you can easily take this off, screw this off, take the panel off, clean it and reuse it. Since this takes quite some time to make, I want for you to be able to use it for quite some time, for many colonies of yours. Speaking of longevity and quality, I have upgraded my sponges for ones that have better water absorption. And yes, I am talking in the plural here because we have two sponges. And the idea behind it is that you can alternate between the two so that you can prevent mold in your setup. To water the sponges, I have made two holes for each watering area on the upper side. On my original variant, on the one side I had only one watering hole and the water actually had problems seeking in, so you may consider that an upgrade as well. The Ant Vienna trademark shall remind you to drop by on your favorite ant keeping YouTube channel and see what's new. On the side, we have one entrance or exit, whatever you might want to do with that one. It gets in from here, from the side. If you don't use it, you can just uh, fill it up with some cotton and it will function as a breathing area. On the back, we have the main entrance and exit, at least the one I use as a main on uh, my Nicobarensis colony. Not much on this side and also not much on the bottom. Okay. Ah yes, and I use a 2mm plexiglass here for improved visibility and aesthetics. Right. Take a good look at it. I'll put it back there and go through the accessories now that you'll be getting. Let us start with the most obvious one. These two approximately 10 centimeters long, 13 by 10 diameter tubes, tubing pieces, so that you can connect the nest to an outworld or another nest. What else I'll be hooking you up with is this 10 centimeter syringe. Nothing special here, but I'll be hooking you up with a special needle, which is flat. I hope you can see that. This is a flat needle so that you cannot accidentally pierce yourself while watering them. We don't want any accidents in ad keeping. And finally, whoever knows me knows that I'm all in when people want to get into ant keeping and these two 7ml tubing uh, pieces, tubes, 
that open up like this are perfect for catching your queens. They also have breathing holes on top so that your queens do not suffocate until you put them in a proper test tube. And what I find nice about them, and the reason I use them almost exclusively for catching queens, are these tops that are attached to the bottle and you cannot lose them. Because I've used many bottles in the past, but I often lost the tops. Yeah. That will be the whole set that you get for winning in our giveaway. And let us get to the last part. Originally, I intended to make this an AU only giveaway. But since I get lots of PMs from people overseas, I decided to make this an international event. So let's talk about how you can secure your entry in this giveaway of ours. First, you need to be subscribed to our channel here on YouTube and on Instagram so that I can later confirm your identity and we can exchange your information. Then you must answer to this video with a specific comment and we'll go through it now but I will post it on a comment down below as well. So we're gonna do hashtag giveaway then on the next line we're going to do hashtag AU or hashtag not AU depending on what is relevant to you then because I'm curious I want to know where you're watching us from and finally I will ask for some feedback on your side first what you love about Ants Vienna and then what you would wish to see changed or added to the channel. Here I want to see some constructive feedback from you guys. Finally, I'll ask you to share the love for ankeeping by sharing this video with your friends and other ankeepers you know, since I am only going to announce a winner when 500 entries are reached. Since this video was originally intended as a 500 subscriber giveaway, I want to give each one of you, my founding subscribers, the opportunity to state your wish for the future of this channel. Please note that by participating, you agree that your username will be announced if you are the prize winner. Speaking of whom, the winner will be decided in a separate video and I'll be using the TubeBuddy pick a winner function for this one. Please check the video description below for detailed information on how to participate and the full giveaway terms. Now allow me some final words here. I want to thank each one of you watching for all the love that this channel gets and this giveaway is as I told in the start, a way of me returning some of this love to you. And by sharing this video, as our subscriber count increases and our community grows, there will be more giveaways to come and more prizes for you to win. Okay, with everything said, there's only one last thing. I wish you best of luck and, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!